CAR T cell therapy is new hope in cancer treatment field. And let's explain why it's so important. CAR T cell therapy improves and causes complete remission of acute lymphoblastic leukemia in 90% of cases. It's huge improvement and it also effective 50 to 60% in case of large B cell lymphoma. Now let's explain how it works. Um, first, we have patient who has cancer. We collect T cells from this patient. Uh, these T cells are modified genetically, usually by virus, and these modified T cells already carries um, chimeric antigen receptors. Chimeric antigen receptor or CAR receptor. This chimeric antigen is presented on cancer cells. So after this T cell already have chimeric antigen receptor, we multiply it. Uh, we, we get many of uh, this copy and uh, it means expansion and activation. They are ready to fight. Uh, we infuse it into blood and we give this blood into person. So, uh, and this uh, already activated CAR T cells starting fight to cancer and they destroy the cancer. That's the idea, it's perfect, everything is okay, but what is main limitation? Main limitation is that uh, CAR T cell therapy is not effective uh, or is little effective towards uh, solid tumors. And what, wh what's happening? What's problem here? Problem is T cell exhaustion. And T cell, T cell exhaustion means that in, in case of solid tumors, the solid tumors uh, release, uh, release uh, immune su 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 suppression chemicals. That's the first problem. Second problem is that they have less antigens. And third problem is that they can suppress these T cells. They can suppress, uh, these T cells can bind to cancer cell, but it's not activated uh, uh, already. It's, it's suppressed. So we need this T cell to be activated to destroy these cells, but it's suppressed. That's what solid tumors, uh, solid tumor, uh, tumors are doing. And what, uh, what, what's new? And what uh, scienti scientists did? Scientists found out that we have two genes, Rignase 1 and Rokin 1. And they knocked out these genes. And if they knocked out these genes into uh, CAR T cell, it causes higher inflammation and activation of this uh, CAR T cell. And CAR T cell expansion and activation, and it destroys uh, it destroys uh, sol even solid tumors. So it's new. Uh, this uh, effectivity, 90% effectivity in case of acute lymphoblastic leukemia is not new already. It's, to, uh, it's already approved since 2017. But this is new, that in case of solid tumors like breast cancer, uh, lung cancer, and other solid tumors, uh, we can knocked out these genes and T cells already activated and they destroy tumor cells. It's very important. But what is main limitation here? The main limitation is that we, we have these results on mice, not on humans yet. Uh, and uh, clinical phase one already started. That's good. Um, and uh, what's also a problem? In some cases, we have overactivation of lime lymphocytes uh, because of a uh, knockout, these genes, uh, Rignase 1 and uh, Rokin 1. Uh, but good thing is that we have 10 times uh, more anti-tumor effect of these uh, T cells. It's huge improvement, 
but we have also some risk uh, over production and over activation these um, lymphocytes so uh, now let's uh, review our uh, topic mm, car t cell therapy is really huge step in medicine uh, we already have effective treatment of acute lymphoblastic le leukemia it's it's huge already uh, and we do it uh, to add uh, t cells uh, chimeric antigen receptors and they can recognize and bind to uh, tumor cells and destroy these tumor cells in case of solid tumors we have limitation which is called t cell exhaustion uh, and it means that uh, tumors suppress these uh, T-cells, but if we knocked out these uh, two genes, Regnase 1 and Rokin 1, we have 10 times more active uh, T-cells, and they destroy even solid tumors. It's also a huge step. That's all. Thank you for watching. I'm Kote. If you like my videos, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Bye for now.